Now, Froggy, Math. have you ever participated in dry January? Uh, last year, I was dry for like six months, but we got real old real quick. Why, why did you go dry for six months last year? Just to just to dry out, you know, and <laughs> to dry <laughs> out for a half a year. <laughs> Were you in a program? No, I'm not in a program. I just, you know, just a little challenge myself. Did you, did did you, you and Kim to... have a talk where she's like, I think you have a problem? <laughs> did you have to like apologize to people? I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> No, I just thought uh, I just thought it was time for a little break. You know, we're doing the show again. It was hard to get up. <laughs> so, so speaking and about then pa- I started losing too much weight. Speaking about Poundland, you just get pounded every night on your your Jameson's Irish whiskey and Canadian Club, of course. <laughs> but no, yes, I, I I'm going to be uh, dry this January. I'm uh, trying. Roxanne, do you ever do dry January, or do you have any friends that have ever done dry January? I've never done it. I know a lot of people who do it, and I started on January 3rd. Uh, so wait, wait, <laughs> hold, what? What's the point? Uh, it's wh- yesterday. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. So you, you're you actually doing dry January this year? Starting yesterday. I missed the first two days. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. It's so, dry january Wait, wait, wait. So coincidentally, <laughs> I, I chose this to talk uh-huh. about. We, we did not have any uh, pre-planning on, no, this, we didn't. Uh, on this one. We didn't talk about this. So I'm doing the dry January story, and you legitimately started your dry January yesterday? I started yesterday. I just looked wow. back at my consumption over the holidays and said, you know what? Time to dry yeah. out. Well, maybe Listen, if you're thinking that Poundland is a sex shop, maybe you did have a little too much to drink over the holidays. You know, you know January doesn't start on the 3rd. Hold on. Did you neglect... Were you so drunk over the holidays you neglected your kids? No. No, I, I spent a lot, a lot of quality time with my children. Was children and families involved at, at all during no, this? No, DCF was not involved. No. <laughs> no. You, is that yet. it? Yet. They are were you, on holiday. Are you sure? All right, I want to go to phones on this. Folks, let's go to phones on dry January. I'd love to hear from you, the MJ Morning Show listener. I want to hear from you, 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. If you do dry January, do you do it every year? I'd like to know, what does dry January do for you? Now, are you a heavy drinker? I, I want to really run the, the spectrum here. I, I'd like to just get calls from a bunch of listeners and, and tell us about your experience with dry January where you just stopped drinking for the entire month of January. The question, and what I saw was, does dry January actually improve your health? Uh, the number to get a hold of us is 800-990-1047. 800 1047 Tell me about your drinking. Tell me about you abstaining during January. Have you done it in the past? You're not doing it now? What are the pros? What are the cons? Does it really change things for you? Because the story I have is, does dry January actually improve your health? And month-long public health campaign encourages people to abstain from alcohol as a way to improve your health. But the question is, are there actual benefits from going dry during this month, not partaking in alcoholic beverage consumption? Experts say, yes, there is a benefit, but it's not an absolute must that everyone needs to observe. Ultimately, sober months like dry January can be harmless for the majority of the population who do not have a severe alcohol use disorder, says Dr. Denny Carice, the chief science officer at Recovery Centers of America. Oh, wow. Diagnoses are characterized as mild, moderate, or severe. Those who drink heavily could encounter very serious health risks when quitting abruptly. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, cold turkey. So the recovery center is telling heavy drinkers, if you've got a problem, don't, don't just stop. don't just stop cold turkey. You go into some kind of withdrawal. Well, if you're a heavy drinker, you're not just going to partake in sober January. All right, now if you right? are if you are participant, what'd you say? If you're a serious drinker, yeah. you're not going to partake in sober January. You're an alcoholic. You get shakes, All right. probably. All right, now, if if you're thinking about doing dry January, there are health considerations. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. I want to go to phone calls first here. Phones just blew up on this. All right. Dry January. Let me grab 
Mick the Brit. Is it? Oh, oh, God. oh it's, it's, I know Mick. We love Mick. Mick. Mick the Brit from London. Hey, Mick. Mick called while I was over in London. I called, uh, or uh, Mick called me. Hey, Mick. Hey, uh, MJ, how you doing this morning? And hello to Fester and, and Froggy there. Oh, and Roxanne, we are laughing our bottoms off with what she thought Poundland was. <laughs> hey, hey, Mick, do you go to Poundland a lot? Yeah. And you know what I like to do? I go, how much is this? And I go, a pound. I go, what about this? A pound. <laughs> and just go around the shop driving and crazy. Good one, Mick. How much is this? By the way, the current pound it's it, it's about a buck twenty five. So a pound is about a dollar twenty five is is what it is. Yeah, that's right. All right yeah. So so yeah. Mick, thanks for calling me. By the way, while I was over in London, and you might have heard a few minutes ago, Michelle is sitting at Heathrow, uh, uh, Gatwick. Yeah. Actually, Gatwick. Michelle's at Gatwick right now, sitting on a, a BA flight coming to Tampa. Yeah, that's an awesome flight, uh, MJ. I've done that myself a few times because, as you know, I lived there in Tampa. There, so. Gatwick's 25 miles from where I live and where I lived in Largo, because I was Largonian. Uh, It it was 25 miles away as also from uh, TPA, yeah. All right, so Mick, uh, what is your alcohol consumption like, and have you ever done dry January? It's high, and no, never, and especially with all (laughs) these uh, 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 germs around. uh, No, of course. uh, All right, so Mick, are you a pint drinker? Do you like going to the the, the pubs and drinking, you know? uh, Oh, yeah. Is that your deal? You're, You're a pint drinker? Oh, absolutely, yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I, I fact, think, I'll be going out later on this afternoon. Yeah, to, Mick uh, is an that. anything drinker. <laughs> That's great. Good for Mick. Hey, hey, Mick, great to hear from you, buddy. All right, I'm glad uh, you got back safe and sound with uh, half the family, and obviously we'll be uh, making sure that Michelle gets back there to Tampa as well. So yeah, uh, God yeah. bless. I'm glad everything worked out for you. Thank you. So Chloe is midair right now. Chloe's on Delta Flight 31 to Atlanta right now, and Michelle's Get ready to push back on uh, British Air, uh, Airways to Tampa. Mick, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right, 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. Let me grab Pam in Valrico. Pam, are you a dry January adhere? Are you uh, quitting alcohol consumption? Are you insane? <laughs> First of all, what, that might as well be dead January. Let's just skip the month and go to Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, no. And Roxanne, I love you. Anyway, I'm just putting that out there. Uh, no, why would anybody? No, Mm-mm. sorry. I drink Mick Ultra, which is like water beer. My friends make fun of me. But you know what? Uh, guess what hates uh, alcohol? COVID hates alcohol. So I'm in mm-hmm. there, man. No. Hell no. On. Mm-mm. Dry. Might as well be dead. Take January away. <laughs> you know what? Like, oh, right now, too, Pam. Are you, Pam, are you taking anything else? <laughs> no, 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 no. That is my one vice. I mean, are you kidding me? Mick Ultra is my one vice. There are people out there doing heroin and meth. It's yes. crazy out there. Yeah, alcohol no, is no biggie. I can't even imagine dry January. I've never even heard of it until so you just said that. Yes, I don't even know rash- what that is. Yeah, She's rationalizing her vices. Yes, good no job. Dry. <laughs> All right, so- <laughs> I hope you guys had a happy new year and a great time in London. What a great place to be. I've been there quite a few times, and it's beautiful. Pam, so I'm glad you guys had th- a great trip. Thank you, Pam, and enjoy your Mick, Mick Ultra during I- January. MJ, I think <laughs> Pam is I drunk. I will, because craziness is out there. It's the only thing to keep me sane and from not blowing somebody's <laughs> eyeball out. Agreed. Oh, I love you guys, man. She's <laughs> drunk strategy. Now. She's drunk right did, now. Did you say, wait a minute, did you say that Mick Ultra, hold on, did you say Mick Ultra and your consumption is the only thing from keeping you from blowing people's eyeballs out? I think she said pulling. Yes, you have no idea. People are horrible drivers. They're mean. Everybody's nasty. I got, a fight. I got into a fight with a garbage guy yesterday. He didn't want to take my recycle bin. Wait a minute. You got into a fight with the garbage gar- Wait, Wait a second. You're a drunken <laughs> menace, man. Well, probably because there were 17,000 cans of Mick Ultra in your recycling. There were, there were a few. There were a few. I also collect from the neighbors, so it's not all me. I'm a recycling alcoholic. Not, you know, I recycle everybody's stuff. I had to chase a garbage guy down the road. So tell me about this fight that you had with the recycling guy. I, he gets very yelling at me. I'm like, are you going to take my recycling? And he's like yelling back at me. I'm going, what are you, insane? I mean, I think he was drinking that early in the morning. <laughs> anyway, no dry January. Maybe sh- some people should do it, but not me. It wouldn't be ugly. I, it would be ugly. People right. would hate me. Pam, thanks for the call. I can see how they love you now. All right. The question is... How many of our MJ Morning Show listeners are doing dry January? 
Have you ever done dry January where you, you stop alcohol consumption during the month of January? Have you done it in the past? Or are you continuing this month? Or have you done it once and you're not doing it again? Tell me about your dry January. And have you noticed a health advantage? Has any When you've done dry January in the past, when you quit drinking for the month of January, has your health gotten better? Have you ever noticed anything positive that's changed? 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. I wonder if there are less DUIs in January. Doubtful. You know what? That's a, that's a good question. That is actually a very good point. Let me go back to the phones here. Sherry is in Spring Hill. Hello, Sherry. You're on the MJ Morning Show on Q105. Good morning, guys. Hey, yes, I started it. But before I tell you this story, the lady before me, love her. Garbage guys think they're friggin' prima donna, first of all. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. The, I, I'm hearing quotes. I'm hearing quotes on the show today that I've never heard in my life. Garbage Gar- guys? Garbage guys think they're prima donnas. With, do me a favor. Sh- Sherry, explain that to me. My recycle guys, they won't take my stuff unless I have a friggin' bow on my boxes. If I have one lid out of my recycle bin for boxes, they leave it. And I'm like, what the hell? You guys get paid a lot of money for picking up my shit. Oh, okay. All right, I'm sorry. All right, Sherry, listen, <laughs> none of these callers are partaking in silver jam. Sherry, 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 let's Sherry, not get so loose. loose. All right, Sherry just dropped. <laughs> Sherry just dropped the S bomb. Okay. I, 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 Sherry, you, Sherry you, I, I had to dump that. You, Sherry, you can't drop the S bomb. That's a naughty okay. word. I'm sorry. I, right. I'm military, and it's like, it's that no is like saying, the, hi, how are you? Okay, so listen. Okay. So, are so you... anyhow, I started dry January about 20 years ago when my father in law said, oh my God, everybody's drunk again. <laughs> So I never did. Now I'm nicknamed the teetotaler in my family. And I just sit around and watch everybody be jerks. Drunk. <laughs> yeah, okay. God, you're so Sherry, mad. Sherry, what, what <laughs> happens February 1st? I, th- I think Sherry is like Pam's sister, the first caller. <laughs> that's why they're getting along so I know. Well. That's why Sherry loves her. Right. <laughs> Thank well, you, Sherry. All right, Sherry, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Let me grab Tamara in Bradenton. Tamara, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Do you do dry January? Yes, I do. And how long have you done dry January? Um, I actually just started a couple years ago when I got diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, I participated in it. Uh, and it actually does improve your health. It improves your breathing and all that. You're sleeping, everything. Now, Tamara, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I will be 35 tomorrow. Okay. Oh, happy, Tamara, if we don't talk to you tomorrow or if I don't go to your party, happy birthday, by the way, tomorrow. So, you, wait a minute. You're going to be 30. Well, thank you. You're going to be 35 or 36 tomorrow? 35. All right. 35. Happy birthday. Okay. Right. So, Tamara, how much drinking do you typically do that you cease for dry January? Um, in in a month span, I will probably go through three or four 12-packs and probably a bottle and a half of vodka. <laughs> wait, 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 what? That seems high. Is that high? I don't know. How long? Wait, how long? Well, we, have, we have a lot of, like, parties and stuff that we do. Oh, so you're so not drinking all Our family's crazy. It's either weed or it's beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right. I'll take an invite yeah. anytime. I, I love I love how she started off the call with like, oh yeah, I gave up alcohol because of my breast cancer diagnosis. But now we're on weed and beer the rest so of the year. Is there a month for uh, is there a month for abandoning weed? No. No way. No. No, way. no, I don't think they have a dry weed month. That would be, that would be silly. I don't think the drug dealers would appreciate that month very well. Ma'am. Talk MJ. Yeah. Oh my. Go to Duck MJ. Oh, by, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, this is a good point. Uh, Froggy has a new client, <laughs> Doc MJ, for medical marijuana. That's I have right. no affiliation and to you. I, 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 I am not Doc MJ. Let's be no, very, you're not. Let's be very clear that Doc MJ is not owned by me, MJ. I'm not at all connected with Doc MJ. Unfortunately. Which, which is Froggy's uh, new uh, uh, client. Yes, yes. Doc. <laughs> hey, you know you know how many taxes you could probably get from that? Now, uh, <laughs> the Tamara, government profits from it. Why can't we? All right, Tamara, what happens on February 1st? 
You go back to your normal life. You just pick up a beer and a, a joint. You go out. <laughs> all right, so, so, all right, so Tamara, wait a minute. So you stopped drinking your 12 packs of beer and your vodka during January, but you're still smoking weed? Well, yeah, you know, it helps with the side effects of chemo, too. So, yeah. hey, it's all in one. There you go. Helps with her uh, hunger issues, right? <sighs> Tamara, yeah, did, like hold on. Tamara, are you, are you on chemotherapy? Yes, I, I'm on chemotherapy. What What kind of cancer? Uh, I had uh, breast cancer. She said, and, she said that already. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I missed that. All right. So, uh, sorry, guys. Are you in remission? Are you cured? Um, I am. Well, what they say is I'm in halfway in remission, halfway out. Um, I had a double mastectomy. I have all my lymph nodes on my left side removed, but I have uh, 32 more tumors that just popped up. Oh, boy. And that they're monitoring because they can't remove them. They're in my liver and stuff like that where they can't be removed. So um, I am on a chemo pill for the next 10 years of my life, and I'm on infusion for God knows how long. All right, well, listen, I wish you the best, Tamara, and please keep in touch with us, okay? All right, thank you, guys. All right, thank you. Let me move on. I, and we got to get into Antonio Brown. We've got to get into the, the mechanics of the meltdown uh, in a minute. Also, the Betty White death. we got to get into that momentarily. Let me grab uh, Lisa and Tampa as we uh, wrap up the whole dry January. And then, as I, I teased a moment ago, uh, I got to give you some of the health considerations that you should know before you do ditch alcohol for January. Uh, let me grab Lisa Tampa. Hi, Lisa. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning, MJ. How are you? Doing well, Lisa. So tell me, are you a dry January dump the alcohol adherent? Yes. Yes. Um, my brother had just said he was going to do it last year. I tried it. It didn't. I didn't last very long. So this year, I decided I would do it, and I. One of my girls and uh, one of my friends in Pilates class and one of the persons I play tennis with, they said they were going to do it, so I joined in. And then I got my fiancé to say he'd do it. And MJ, uh, this is kind of funny. We were having pizza last night and usually with my son and his girlfriend before they go back to college. And he was like, we always have beer and pizza. And, we, you know, usually we drink on the weekends. And he's like, this uh, seltzer water sure is good without any vodka in it. So, mm. <laughs> it's only been five, four days, four days. All right, four uh, days down. All right, well, Lisa, well, you got, you got what, 20, uh, 28 day, 20, uh, seven? seven days to go. Yeah, January 31 days. All right, hey, good luck, and thanks for listening, Lisa. Yeah, have a great day. You Bye -bye. too. Thank you for calling. All yeah. right, so uh, just wrapping up dry January here, if you are thinking about jumping into dry January, or you've already started. If you're thinking about it, you're late. Well, yeah, that's right. Uh, today is what? Today's the fourth. Yeah, you're yeah. almost missing the whole so first week. Is you, your functioning alcoholic friend partaking? But also, oh. dry dry January, though, really, it's after, like, going, like, maniacally drunken crazy yeah. on New Year's Eve, it's the, the beginning is January 1st. It's, you know, just hours at... Well, technically, you're probably still getting hammered into right. January 1st. That's at, why you don't even start till the 3rd. 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, you got to get through the weekend. Hey, what was your 2 o'clock in the morning like uh, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day then? Uh, what, what was it like? Yeah, were you all, were you falling over? Yeah, I mean, I drank a lot of tequila. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> a lot, yeah. Well, was good pretty. for you. Did yeah. you keep it all down? Yeah, no, I didn't throw up or anything. Oh, no, 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 that's so gross. no, no reversals. But I do have to tell you, I have to tell myself to stick to dry January. I have to tell myself, Roxanne, if you want to have a glass of wine, you can. Because if I'm too like rigid and say you can't have anything, then I'll fall off the wagon. Hold on, so, no, no. so you're not doing, you're doing half-assed. You're She's doing, like, going to be too hard. I'll have a drink every once in a while. <laughs> you're doing half-assed. Dry January. All these callers convinced me it's just too much of a pain. It's moist January. It really is. That's like, you know, this this uh, AA program, you know, you know, sometimes I get tired of it and I want to put a few back. Just one. And then, night. Yeah, you know, Wednesday I'm going to fall off. Then Thursday I'm back. Okay, listen, MJ. Saturday I'm off mm -hmm. again. If, you know. If you're in AA, you're not celebrating one month of sobriety. Yeah, okay? I mean, come on. I know. I know. Okay, you have an it's issue. Casual drinkers, and there's drinkers, and there's alcoholics. You know, Doug has a, a drinking problem because he drinks White Claws all the time. And he. <laughs> He's, yeah, he, he's got other problems if he's <laughs> drinking White Claws all the time. That's what I'm saying. I, I loathe White Claws, especially for a grown man. Uh, and so well, that, that is such a wussy drink for a for <laughs> dig, dig Dug, your fiancé. That's yeah. all he drinks is White Claws. He drinks, he drinks tequila, too. But anyways, one of his friends sent him, like, 
a stack. I showed you that photo, MJ. A stack of white claws, like a pallet had to cut, or pallets of it were, were unloaded uh, at my which, house. Which famous person? No, had... no, just a regular friend. Okay, Mr. So Claw. Is that why <laughs> whenever you guys come over to my house and we do like a dinner, that Doug, yes. that Doug brings me a great bottle of wine? Does he not drink red wine? No, he drinks red wine too. He does, but he's right. he's mostly on the claws. All right. So just wrapping up dry January here. If you're thinking about it. Here are some health considerations that you should know before you ditch the actual alcohol. Outside of saving money from all of the alcoholic beverages that you will not be purchasing for the month of January, the top health benefit that you can receive is avoiding the unnecessary... Weight. Well, yeah, calories. Really? Because people, people don't realize how many calories are in alcohol. Yeah. You can get a mixed drink, for instance. You could have a 500-calorie drink bomb. You're, you're having a cocktail at a bar. You could be sitting on a 500-calorie drink bomb. That's why you drink your stuff straight, like me, on ice. I don't know. You give me a couple of pina coladas with extra lard in them. Oh. They're delicious. According to the USDA's Food Data Central database, a can of beer is around 154 calories. A five-ounce serving of wine is around 123 calories. But varying spirits and liquors like sake, whiskey, vodka, rum, gin, they tend to be under 100 calories, but that's on a per-ounce basis. That can, if you're making a cocktail, that can really rack up. That's why, uh, Fessy, do me a favor. Do a, yes. do a Google search on the most co- high-calorie cocktails. I guarantee you it's like a margarita. A Mai Tai. Yeah, do it quickly. High-calorie cocktails. Cocktails. Those yeah, things make you feel so that's why right. you get hung over drinking that All stuff. Right, so uh, one of my favorites. Uh, oh leads my the list. god! Look at number three. A pina colada could be 644 calories. Getting drunk in the rain. Okay, so all of these would be what I would order at a bar if I were going to get a drink. Yeah, he orders really. Starting bad off stuff. with number five, the mai tai, 350. The uh, my to favorite, go with your shirts. My I was right. Favorite kind of Russian. The white Russian, yeah, four twenty-five. Pina colada, six forty-four. Wow. Uh, margaritas, seven forty. And a margarita could be seven hundred forty calories. And coming in at number one is uh, the pride of every New Yorker: the Long Island iced tea. Uh, oh. give, give me a oh. Lo- Long Island iced teas could average seven hundred eighty calories wow. for one drink. Those are no joke. They will, they will sneak up on you. They will light you up because you're drinking them like you're having an Arnold Palmer or something, you know? It's like you're, you're putting back, you know, like a non-alcohol. And then, you know, before you know it, you're falling over drunk. You forgot your name. You end up in a bathtub. Your kidney's gone. I was, dr- I was dating a girl. That, <laughs> I was dating a girl. We were on a date at a bowling alley, and she drank so many, she puked on the alley. Like, <laughs> they had to come and, like, clean the alley. Are you serious? It was going down. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm like, I'm not going to roll in that. No. It's yeah, all, it was, it's all the gutter. It's the hottest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, my ties are no joke. I mean, uh, Long Island Ice Tea should be banned. No. Run banned. Runners didn't make the list. That's what Run Runners are like, too. Ugh. Yeah, but Run Runners are like little shots, right? Don't you like? No, it's a big slushy, you know, like 10 different alcohols. You need to drink your whiskey neat or on ice so you can control the craziness. All right. So there you have it. Dry January, pros and cons. And again, if you're a heavy, heavy drinker, experts are saying do not cold turkey it. 